Rest in peace okay. and all that. So, uh, it's the end of the game. Well done, guys. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and rate. Hey! I'm not really dead. Only on, kidding. Only kidding. Okay. Use the chisel with the coffin. Yay. Okay. So now use the chisel. Yikes. Oh. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. Yeah. From the right. Dead. Dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. That you are no. Committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. Of course you don't. So you use the chisel with the coffin. And yeah. And this part is so annoying. And this is the guy who I hate more than Kenny Foulmouth. The little ginger person in uh, Plunder Island. Him. Phew, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. <sighs> Alright guys, um, if you want to skip this part, because it is really boring and I half snore, uh, go to... Uh, four minutes. Me in there in the first place. Uh, to skip his lecture. Yeah, to... no, no, I won't yeah, so four minutes. That no, three minutes. Forty. Go three minutes. Think, forty, you know? guys. And uh, really should be. All right. I don't know if you've considered this, son. But live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life <sighs> to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made. Ugh, he is so boring. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my own. <sighs> We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Okay. Just jiggle the handle there. So use the handle. Okay, so anyway. Now go back to the stand's cozy crypt, and I've fast forward it because it is so Welcome boring, back. and I hate him. I just hate him. So, uh, use the gold tooth with Stan. I fast forward it. So anyway, uh, go to the, I don't know where, uh, just the village, maybe, no? The hotel? Oh, right, yeah. Hi guys, I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. And then, no questions for the dead guy, come back yeah, to life. Yeah, just wait. No questions, like, is there life after death, or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Dot, Fine. Dot, dot. Be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Okay. So talk to Madame Zima. Madame Eczema. 
Zima, Madame Zima, Madame Zima, Madame Zima, Mistress of the Ancient Arts, of Precognition and Augury, Diva of Divination. Diva, cool. yeah, You're a fortune teller. right. Ah, that and so much more. I want to kill her. Madame Eczema. Okay. Anyway. Madame Eczema. Madame Eczema. Anyway. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Oh, shut up. Tell me my fortune. Tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone cool will find out brush. you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach oh God. inside oh, thank your you. intestines. Giving you the most excruciating oh death imaginable. So, are you going to tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? So, after all that, she will tell ah, you your fortune. Well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards Come on. an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell yeah, the story course. of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah, shut ah! up. What is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? Sure, whatever you okay, say. so now keep talking go. to her until she gets fed up. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. So, yeah. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is Whatever. your destiny. <laughs> I love Whatever. that part. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card anyway. says death. Are you <laughs> sure you're That's not nice one. the bottom of the deck? Remember what curse? The, curse I told you about? the one that's uh, okay, turned okay. into a solid gold statue. Nope. Hit me. Death. How many of those cards Okay, so ask her one more time. How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you. Right. And no man can so, shut up. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> no. Fortune. Death. Leave this place. Huh? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Shut well, up. Demon! Demon! Nub cheese. Okay, so press U with Madam the tarot cards. Look, a three headed monkey. Ah! Then the prophecies were huh, stupid. Well, so that's the last you're going to hear anything. of uh, Madame Exma. This is a very bad <laughs> Madam omen. Zima. Madam Zima, I. Be gone. You will bring oh, shut up. death to all who surround Nupcake. you. No good anyway. can come of this. So you go upstairs. Uh, what? Oh, right, you take the jar. Oh, yeah, the jar. The brochures are completely useless. Make me. The jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was gonna put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, 
Okay, then. <laughs>